In this video, we're going to talk about special properties. Special properties are properties that aren't animated, but they define how your animation should run and what it should do. In this video, we'll focus on delay and repeat. Here we have two animations set up, and you'll notice that they're set to run for two seconds. Now, we've already used the special property duration, okay? So in this animation, the duration value isn't changing, it's just telling the animation how long it should be. So we have our friend green and pink, they're both Freds, and we're going to hit run, and you're gonna see that they're both gonna do the same exact thing at the same time. They move their X position to 600 over the course of two seconds. So here we're seeing the duration special property in use, but we're also going to now talk about delay. So I'm just going to say delay two. And what this is gonna do is just make sure that this tween doesn't start for two seconds. Let's hit run. You're gonna see that green goes first. As soon as it ends, boom, pink starts, okay? Using a delay is great for basic sequences with one or two items, but once you get beyond that, you're gonna to wanna to use a timeline, which we'll talk about down the road. The next special property we're gonna talk about is repeat, all right? Repeat is pretty cool. Here's a little migration tip. If you're used to the old tween max, you no longer need tween max for repeats. All tweens can be repeated. So in this tween right here, I'm going to say repeat one. I'm gonna hit run, and what's gonna happen? Well, green's gonna to go to the right, and then it's going to repeat again and go from left to right. If we want the animation to repeat back and forth, sort of like a yo-yo, we're going to use the yo-yo property and set it to true. So now when I repeat, you're gonna notice that green moves across, goes back, and then there you go, that is one repeat, okay? So it played once and repeated once. We can change that repeat value to any number we want. If you want to repeat infinitely, use minus one. And what you're going to see is that this animation is going to repeat forever. So don't worry, I'm not gonna just keep talking forever and ever. I just want you to see that this repeat is working repeatedly, okay? So that's enough for delay and repeat. In the next video, we'll talk about eases. And as you can see in this video here, you're gonna notice that going this way, he kind of slows down and then speeds up as he goes back to the left. So that's what easing's about. Let's jump into the next video.